my camera doesn't want to stay up. <laughs> it wants to point down at the beautiful transfer. I get it. Now let's see if I can fix this here. Come on. Look down. Yes. <laughs> Hi, everybody. It's Sharon, the Accidental Art Maker. Um, welcome to probably one of my most favorite projects I've done in like the last, I don't know, nine months since winter kicked in. Um, it is with this transfer uh, right here, the Willows transfer, um, Whispering Willow. And there's like, there's so many projects in here and there's so many good feelings in here. I really don't know how to describe some transfers sometimes, like they really take on a life of their own and they just make you feel all goosebumpy. This is one of them for me. So um, I wanna share with you today um, what I've been working on. Um, let me put this away and point this camera down. Um, so I made another video about this tray right here. Let me take the Whispering Willow stuff off of it for a second. Um, I was playing around. Uh, I don't know. I uh, I will share a photo with you. My original intention for this tray was to have the fox on it, but I I got this far and then decided the fox just could. Um, I love the fox, but the fox just could not hold its own. The birds were a much better. Uh, uh, way to go with this. Um, I don't know if you can tell, but it's supposed to be kind of grass and a horizon line and then the blue sky. So um, I used the Bella stamp. I used, um, I have um, um, ink. I inked it. That's what the darker colors are in the background. And then I used watered down white chalk paint for the white cloudy like things here going on. Um, I had a lot of fun and you should too with this transfer, <laughs> um, trying to figure out what I wanted the composition to be. Um, well, there's so many critters and flowers and magical elements in, in this transfer. Um, I had a really hard time narrowing it down, but I wasn't even looking at the bunny when I first started this. I'm like, eh, bunny is whatever. But you know what? This bunny is perfect. She's very cute. So today I'm going to show you um, how to how to put down this transfer, um, and. Let me get some composition going. So composition wise, where I landed was, let me start here. I started this, this is my focal point right here. This bird sitting on this log. And I wanted the bird with the bright yellow to break up the blue background. The trees rooted into the ground as it should be. So it's kind of breaking the horizon line. And um, this is my, my main focal point. To be very clear, I'm probably not using any kind of uh, artistic or technical terms that are appropriate, but that's what you get. <laughs> and then I wanted some pretty flowers to come in here and kind of break up the scene a little bit. And then I wanted another bird down here, just kind of, you know, like hanging out. I wanted something to kind of break apart the page. I'm sorry, the paint just a little bit break through the horizon line again. And I knew that I wanted the little bunny here somewhere. I didn't want the bunny. Let me move these out of the way so you can kind of see the thought process here. I didn't want the, the bunny to be on the same line as the tree. And um, I didn't want it competing too much with the vine. I wanted it breaking through. I wanted her to break through the horizon line also. So 
you might see me adjust this as, as we move through here, but I wanted, I wanted this to be, take up a lot of space. So she's over here breaking up the horizon line also, but she's not like on the same level as the tree. Her ears kind of go across here. And then, you know, um, Bunny's got to like be sitting in some pretty flowers. So we can bring some pretty flowers in here. Like this. Let me put you over here a second, Bertie. And I'll be definitely playing around with these as I get closer. Kind of like something like that. And then I wanted to have one more critter. I wanted to have three critters in here. And I really like this bird right here. And this bird will be holding a little twig in her mouth. So I think that's my composition. I'm gonna, as I go through and start actually laying it down, it will probably change a little bit. But for now, that's what I've got. I'm gonna start with my focal point here, which is these two. I'm gonna put the tree down first because the bird's gonna be sitting on top of it. So let's start with this. When you have your transfer, so I've cut the transfer out. You always wanna leave the backing on the transfer until you're ready to commit. <laughs> um, there's a lot more I could tell you about the care of transfers as I learned from experience and reading about it. Okay, so I know my bird will be sitting on this. I want to give the bird a little bit of head space, but see, isn't that, it's already just so pretty. Um, so I'm committing to this, like this. Now I'm gonna to commit to having a sip of coffee. So this is a bigger version of Kim the Frog. Kim the Frog is a video I have up on YouTube. And it's like, I think it's on like a five by seven or maybe a square frame. Um, this is just a scaled up version of that with more transfers, more paint, more ink, more stamps, and lots and lots of layers. Okay, so now I've got my transfer laid down here, just kind of smoothing it down. I feel, a little bit of a bump right here from some paint underneath it. So we'll see what happens here. I have coated the top of this with top coat. I think I use Big Pop because um, I want this to hear that noise. So, oh, that's the noise. That's the noise you want. Let's see here. There we go. Okay. I do not want this to crack because if I don't do this right, the paint underneath it's going to show up. I definitely want to keep the, I don't want this to look aged or anything like that. And I can always, if I do get a crack or mess this up, there's always a way to fix it. But I'm going to go out the door the way I want to. The way I want to start, which is with some care here. All right, I'll take a quick peek. Oh, so beautiful. All right. There we go. I like doing these big solid pieces of transfers. They're usually easier than um, some of the ones with a lot more detail and a lot more like cracks in between, like this one right here might be a little bit challenging. So if you're a beginner with transfers, this is actually an awesome transfer because there's so many things packed into it and there's, uh, you can uh, get a million projects out of it. You'll have so much fun if this style visually appeals to you. Um, Lexi Gresner is the one, woman uh, who created this. She's an awesome watercolor. I'm a huge fan of hers. Uh, when I learned that she was doing this transfer, I didn't even see it. And I was like, it's going to be a huge hit. Uh, all right, here we go. So here, it's taken off. So you hear that noise, that kind of crackling noise? And right, I can take a quick little peek. Oh. I don't want to take a quick little peek because this is not laid down over here yet. Let me just 
pick up this corner again. Yeah, it's going down great. All right, let's see if I can get this branch. Nope, the branch is just like, mm, we're gonna see how the rest of the tree does. Come on, branch. Welcome to the inside of my head, everybody. <laughs> the transfers talk to me, do they talk to you? All right. Like I said, I, I do feel like some of these, the ones I really love, just take on a personality with me. If you've ever gotten ordered anything from me, uh, sometimes I'll drop comments into my, my little handwritten note about the transfer that you've ordered. Okay, there we go. Wander has a huge personality. Uh, wallflower, huge personality. Brocant, which I call the boss of all transfers, is um, it's a very subtle, but long lasting impression of a personality. Which is very French. <laughs> okay, let's see here. Here we go. Okay, sometimes I can cheat a little bit. You hear that cracking? That's the transfer going down uh, when I lift, if I've done a really good job with the top coat. But it's a little risky. Oops, shit. Okay. Bad word number one. Should I somebody keep counting the bad words I drop in this video? <laughs> All right. Okay. All right, that's going down good. Let's see. Oh, so close. Okay, so. No. Okay, phew. All right. So look what happened. The little bit of root cracked off, and it's right here. If you look underneath where I'm holding this, you can see a little tiny bit of the transfer there. It's okay. Since it pulled up clearly, I'm just going to go right back on top. And line it up over it. There we go. Perfect. And rub it down. Okay. So now it's on here. You can't even tell. All right. And I'm going to burnish this. I'm just taking the piece of paper that it came off of, and I'm just smoothing it down like this. And this is actually quite a good trans transfer that I just did for you guys, if I do say so myself. Okay, so now we've got this beautiful log on here. And accidentally, one of the things I'm noticing right now is, look at how this stamp is kind of just pointing right down into this log. That was an accident, or maybe my subconscious was picking it up, I don't know. Okay, so now the bird's gonna go here. My pretty little yellow bird. She's gonna be sitting on top of this log like this, or this tree stump. All right, I want her claws on here. She's so pretty, she needs a name. Somebody come up with a name, put a name in the comments for me. She needs a name. She's so pretty, she's so happy, look at her. I mean, how can you not work this transfer and not be happy? <laughs> okay, so. Again, I'm gonna just smooth her down. I can see right here might be a little bit of a tough area. There is something bumpy from the chalk paint there. I thought I'd gotten all my little pretty things up, but maybe not. All right, let's start with her head. Hello, sweet little bird. What's your name? Hope you like your new home. I know this piece when I'm done with it, I'm gonna price it super high so nobody can buy it. <laughs> then keep it, because nobody will buy it. No, I, probably won't do that. I, want, I really do love it when my pieces find new homes to go to and make somebody else happy. Okay, so she's like, uh, not sold on this, let's see. 
my shoes. Here she goes. I know it's funny I'm giving her a gender, but she's obviously a pretty little bird. Although I think now that if I'm remembering my science class is correct, it's the males that have all the colors that, you know, here we go. All right, come on. Right. Looks like underneath her eye, you can kind of see like a color difference when the transfer goes down. You see how it's kind of muted here. It's still colorful here. Let's see, there we go. There, sometimes I pick it up just a little bit and then that gives it, did you see that? That was awesome. That gives it just enough, I don't know, like a pocket of air or something. And I can kind of catch, catch the, catch the, just, it has like a really super smooth rollout. Okay. I know I'm not using the proper terminology. I forget what the IOD sisters call it, like catching the wave or something, catching the bubble. All right, I think. All right, let's smooth her down. I also had to come up with a name for this piece. I was thinking something like Friday's Book Club. Okay, so next, I'm gonna do my next major piece which to me is not the rabbit. It's actually this, this vine right here. And I'm gonna move you guys over here, except for the rabbit. I kinda wanna keep an eye on where the rabbit's going to be when I'm coming up with where to put this vine. So the, the vine's kind of breaking the page, breaking the tray in half here, and a little bit in the forefront. I know I want my bunny up in here and uh, kind of just observing you like the bird is. And then this vine is kind of just swinging down out of nowhere magically. <laughs> As vines do. <laughs> but yeah, I kind of want it kind of swinging in. I don't want it going straight up and down. I kind of like it. You kind of look at the bird and then your eye kind of travels down here and then it jumps over to the bunny and the bunny area over here. So I'm always thinking about like, where do I want my eye to go? Like what's a pleasant trip for the eye as it's looking at this masterpiece? <laughs> right, I need a pair of scissors. Give me one second people. I have like three pairs of scissors now I have one. The other sound you heard was the paintbrush disappearing. Okay, the reason I need scissors is that this, I want this to come out of the top. I just gotta cut off the little end right here. So, like this. Do you see how the Green hair pops out in the blue and it looks so pretty with the pink behind it. And then I got this one last leaf coming into the green down here. Like in my head, we're taking a little peek into this little Shangri-La area for, I don't know, maybe it's a bunch of moms who run away from their kids for the day. <laughs> or maybe all the kids are taking naps <laughs> and they're just like, phew. All right, so let's get this fine. So like as I was saying, this is a bit more delicate detail right here. The leaves should go on fine, but for I'm gonna I'm gonna really want to pay attention to this vine as I'm going down that it doesn't break or split in half. Um, so I'm smoothing down the transfer right here. All right, it definitely feels smooth down. I'm not feeling any bumps. Oh, you can kind of see it. You can't see it probably on the camera. There's a tiny little bump right there on her, but it's in the black part, so it'll be hard to see. Okay, now let's get the spine going. Okay, 
Yeah, I was mentioning Kim the Frog. That's a YouTube video. I'll post the link to Kim the Frog if you want to start out with something smaller. Um, and that's a great place to start. And Kim the Frog is basically a frog surrounded by some flowers with stamps in the background. And it kind of goes into, it's a, just a great starting video. If you see this and this is kind of like, no way could I do this? Yes, you can. Um, just start out a little bit smaller, baby steps, you know, if you feel like this is too much. Okay, so now that line is going down. Awesome. Let's get this leaf. Come on, leaf. So I do know that a lot of artists talk to themselves out loud or have a little conversation going on in their head when they're working. Sometimes that happens with me. Sometimes I'm listening to a book and I'm thinking about that while I'm working. I especially like to do that when I'm uh, stamping. Because stamping is kind of like I have an idea, I can kind of go on autopilot with it. Um, when I'm doing something like this transfer, I, I, I either need music I can kind of tune out or I just need quiet because what you're hearing are kind of like the thought processes that are going on in this big pile of noodles in my head. Okay, let's see. So far, so good. And also, um, uh, yeah, so starting out like on a smaller scale is definitely a way to go if you find this just a little bit too much at once. And then, um, you know, this is taking me several days to get to this point. Like I said, I started off wanting to do the fox on this tray, but the more I was playing with the colors in the background, um, the more I was like, the, the fox needs something else for what I want to do with it, which will actually probably be another tray. All right, let's see here. There we go. There we go. You also get a great arm workout with transfers. These little ones, I definitely feel like I need to. There we go. Okay. Yeah. I was saying before I interrupt myself, the uh, let me have to press down hard. Now it's back and forth motion. Okay. Let's switch to my left. My right arm is getting a little bit tired. This is one of the benefits of being ambidextrous. Yeah, okay, I'm here, whoa, whoa, I worked up a sweat. All right. Beautiful. Okay, so pretty. I hope you guys know, like, I'm not complimenting my own work. Like, I just love this transfer, and I do love this tray, for sure. Um, but I just... I cannot get over. I still, I, I've been working with this for a few days and I still get goosebumps looking at it. I mean, that's, that's a, that's a sign. There are a ton of mushrooms in this and I tried mushrooms in this right here. I just didn't go. So I think I, the idea I had with the mushrooms is to do a, uh, I want to do a series of mushrooms on small plaques. So like you could put the mushrooms on small on small wood planks and then like do a gallery on your wall with mushrooms with funny sayings on them or maybe thoughtful, I don't know. but not psychedelic, of course. All right, so here's Bunny. She's over here to the side. She's kind of coming in midline here with the tree and her ears up here. Um, I'm thinking I might like her a tiny bit lower. I haven't totally committed and pushed down really hard, but I probably should have been paying attention to that before I laid her down. Okay. All right, I think I like her midsection going through this midline right here, but she still has 
a little bit in the bottom. See how she's broken up over the colors? And she's breaking up here. Okay, this is perfect. All right, where are we? 25 minutes in, okay. I'm gonna keep going here. Or, yeah, I'm gonna do bunny here. And then I'm going to, uh, well, I was trying to get this done in 45, but maybe we will get this done in 45, and maybe we won't. You can always fast forward if you wanna see what this looks like at the end. Okay, so this is smoothed down. Let's start up here at the top on her little cute ears. I have named her Shirley. I've decided her name is Shirley. All right, Shirley, what's up, Doc? All right. Yeah, there she goes. Welcome to your new home, Shirley. She's very happy to be here. Yeah, I went pretty fast. Okay, oh, one little tiny bit of grass down here. Where did you come from? Right here? Okay. Let's get you over there. There's Shirley. Hi, Shirley. How are you? I'm good, Sharon. Thanks so much. I love my new beautiful bright blue home. Lots of grass for you to eat, Shirley. You should be very happy. I'm going to give you some flowers. See, yeah, Shirley? How do you like those flowers? All right, guys, I'm not crazy, but I do like to make up little stories in my head as I'm putting together transfers like this. All right. Let's see here. Now, these three flowers might actually, let's see. Okay, here. See, I don't want to split the tray. Now, if I had this here, it'd be a complete split, right? And then I want, see how like it's kind of, there's like, it's pretty open. So, I you know, like this goes up here. And this goes over here. And then later on, I'll find maybe something a little bit smaller to put right here. I'm not sure that I could probably set that fine. No, that competes too much. Okay. Let's see here. So I want this over here. Like this. They'll be hanging out. We got this bird here, and she's got this twig in her mouth. And maybe you go up here. That. Maybe she's just got a little bit of berries. Like they're not growing, they're just something she's nibbling on. And I need, I think I need something else in here flower wise, but I'll figure that out later. Okay. Oh, someone keeps texting me. What do you want? Let's see. Oh, it's my husband. And he's sending me kisses and hearts. Here, I'll show you. See, I sent him a little thank you, and then he sent me love and kisses back. Okay. Uh, let's keep going here. All right. I'm going to put this branch up. Yeah, not really. Shirley, where do you want this, Shirley? Straight up and down behind you like your own little, yeah, I kind of like that. You need to come a little bit down more in the grass, maybe? All right, let's go with that. Maybe she's just getting a little bit of privacy over here with the birds. Maybe the birds.
drivers have been chattering away. I've been driving for a little bit. Bonkers. All right, here we go. All right, have you gotten this far with me? You really should like this video and leave a comment. <laughs> Maybe share the video. <laughs> oh, shit. Okay, let's see here. There we go. Oh. <laughs> okay. And then we're going to put the berries at her feet. Maybe somebody left her a little present of berries. Where are the berries growing? She's kind of tucked in behind the berries. What do you guys think? I kind of like the idea of her eating the berries. They're just here in front of her. And we'd be like, oh, yeah, that's pretty good. Is that like too blocked off though? I don't know. I think it's okay. All right, we're gonna go with this. I might like find some kind of little tiny, something's gonna need to happen down here that just is like a little tiny accent. We'll see. That could take me all day to figure out, so I'll probably do that off camera. All right. Yeah, so as I was saying before I interrupted myself, if you've gotten this far, please like, please subscribe, please share, please comment. Let me know if you are trying something with this transfer, what your experience is. Okay. Okay, I did it. All right. All right. Awesome. Maybe there is room for this flower. No. No, no, no. Okay, let's come over here. So this bird, so the eye starts here, kind of wanders over here to the bunny, and the bunny's looking down here at this bird. Where do we want this bird? She's gonna have a little twig. Let's see if we set the plan for now. Think down. So, okay. You like that technical term? Okay, here we go. Let's do this. All right, so she's down here. Put her like, <laughs> I actually don't want her head to post this. So if she has the berries in her mouth and you look at her as a whole, it kind of works out. All right. Here she is. There you go. All right. Not such an arm workout this time. That's okay. Come on, bird. See, her legs are tiny and skinny. Have to pay attention to that. My arm might be getting tired and my brain too, but I still need to like pay attention to these, these details here because I really like just her legs hanging out the ground here. Let's take a quick look. Oh, see how she's popping out? Okay. Let's finish her tail before we get too carried away here. There, there, there you go. Okay, she needs a name. Dude, if you're watching, put a name for her in the comments. All right, now she has a story. All right, let's. You know what? I'm such an idiot. Okay. <laughs> I should have done the berries first, right? Because otherwise this is just kind of, so you know what I do is I'm going to cut this so that she's holding the twig and it looks like it's going behind her. 
behind her mouth. Like, oh, what the, you know, the tree, yeah. The tree's gotta go up like this. So it's gotta look like she's holding it in her beak. Okay, get my scissors. How much do I want? There, that looks good. I'm gonna cut it right along that grid line. Grid lines come in super handy. All right, I'm gonna actually need to like cut this like on an angle. There. Now I am kind of sectioning off here a little bit, but I think it's it's not like a solid, I think it's okay. Before I was talking about how you don't want to, I didn't want to split it. I think it's this will still feel flowy enough. All right, berries. All right, I don't think I burnished her, but let's get you down. Okay. Another sip of coffee. Okay, and then this twig is gonna come out like this on the lower side. See? It looks like she's hopping over to Shirley here with a little, a little thing of berries. Here, do you like some berries? All right, and now we got these two flowers over here. This area is big and wide open. That might actually be cool. Or maybe I'm like putting flowers here and these are popping up over here. Like, like this. Hmm. It kind of brings it all together. All right, let's try that. We are almost done here, people. I will not be sharing the, I'll be putting a top coat on on top of this, um, but I'm not gonna do that here. It's just basically painting a clear top coat on top and letting it dry overnight. All right, where do I want these flowers? I kind of want them spilling in, but I want them more in the, mm, coming in off the side. All right. And I'm just wondering that because I need to figure out where to kind of cut this so that it can. All right, you're gonna start having it start in the pink so your eye catches it and it comes down like that. Okay. In the pink coming down. Not exactly in the middle, me up higher, yeah. Okay, let's see what that looks like. Is easy. Look at that. Kind of subtle, right? Kind of like definitely not as commanding as these three key things right here. So kind of coming in off the side. I'm going to put this one down here like this, just kind of coming up. But maybe like that. No. Like that, yeah. And coming in either that or this, something like this coming up from the bottom. I don't know. This is when I wish I was live. It's like I asked somebody to tell me what to do. <laughs> I think it's going to be down. Yeah, but you know, like I really wanted the bunny to have a little bit more, you know. I think like that. Okay. Mm, I don't know. Okay, this. 
see how I've got this little white triangle of a stamp down here? I'm gonna have a breakthrough right in the middle of that. Why? I don't know. It just feels good. <laughs> Again, probably some technical term. I don't need technical terms. I just need to know what I'm doing. There we go. Oh, shit. All right, that's okay. I'm going to fix that. A little tiny bit just broke off, but I just laid it right back down. And it's a tiny bit at the bottom here. Ah, okay. There we go. There. Okay. Okay. What do we have? Let's see here. Let's get this little piece of shiny off. All right, I'm in love. Let me see. I'll get it myself here. Oh, I love this so much. Okay, um, totally am in love with this. I feel like I need a little tiny something down here. And I think the bunny's good. Maybe something in here. Don't know yet. I'm gonna like sit it across the room and look at it off and on over the day to decide um, what the finishing touch is for, for this. I don't, I don't know what it is yet. I am almost 100% sure this will stay like this soft pink that I have it, and then I'm not gonna do any embellishment of any kind out here, because it's all about here. I mean, the stamps and everything are already without like a lot, and anything out here would compete with that. So, um, so I am going to not do anything to this. So, all right, well, thanks so much. I hope that, let's see if we can get you here. I hope that, that you enjoy watching this and participating with me. Let me hold this up so you can see it. Um, I should have mentioned that this tray I got from a Goodwill store for um, like $6. Um, yeah, but it's so much prettier now, huh? All right. I'm in love with this. <laughs> All right, everybody, thank you so much. Have a, a wonderful day. Uh, you can find this on my website, the, the Willows Transfer, not this trade just yet. Um, so um, find it there. Uh, hit me up with any questions that you may have, and please like and subscribe. Peace out. <laughs>